I've been saying this virtually every day. Bands have nothing to do. There's literally nothing to do. You can't play shows. You can only live stream so much. You can only get on Instagram live so much. You can only browse social media so much. There are very little options for things you can do. Typically, what you're going to be doing is writing music. And there's a great new article now out over at Metal Injection that says that Slipknot is already working on new music. If you can believe that, that's fantastic. Obviously, it's a time of great productivity. So you've got all shows canceled. We talked yesterday about Metallica potentially uh, going out and, and, and working on new music, either remotely through Zoom calls or getting together when uh, restrictions are lifted because we know that their stadium shows may be the last to return. And so guitarist Jim Root spoke to Loudwire recently and said the band has begun discussing new music. He says, now that we have this bananas insane pandemic thing going on, I've been trying to force myself to write. I've had a lot of people ask me about doing a solo project. I think now I have a little bit more time to dedicate to that. So I've started writing stuff that maybe wouldn't slide in with the Slipknot world. But like I said, I've got... Uh, kind of a bit of a writer's block going on right now. I would like to start a project just because I need to stay busy, you know. I didn't start a family. I never got married. I didn't do any of that stuff. I know Corey wants to do a solo project, project that's outside of Stone Sour. He's mentioned that. Unless I'm writing for Slipknot, I wouldn't know what to do with my time. There's a lot of different philosophies and ideas and things that we're throwing around with Slipknot for another record. Things like that. It's easy for me to write Slipknot arrangements and ideas. They come kind of naturally for me because I spend so much time. I spent so much time with Paul. As much as I've written the last two records, I don't want to think about that too much. For a solo, I'm 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 gonna overthink that until I'm insane and it may never come out. What direction do I go? Do I even think about a direction? Do I just let it naturally come out? Do I use things that I've written or intended for Slipknot that maybe Slipknot didn't gravitate towards, or maybe Slipknot was just like that's not really very Slipknot. Uh, not that there's any rules on what is or is not Slipknot. A good thing, uh, a good song's a good song, whether it's for this or that or the other thing. Like Don Henley said for the Eagles thing, he stepped back and took a drink of his uh, beer and introspectively said, shit don't flow. So if I make some shit that doesn't flow, then that'll be my side project. Obviously, Slipknot is my priority, and it's what I'm going to always have as a priority, and that's going to be the main thing that I always focus on as long as I can or as long as that we're viable or as long as that we're able to continue to do that. What I do as a solo uh, project, what direction do I take? I want to get all that out with all the arrangements I've written for the last couple Slipknot records. I don't know um, that I'll need another outlet, but I'm going to try, set a goal, maybe see if I can achieve it. So uh, you can check out the full interview with Jim Root over on the Loudwire channel. You can also see this full article over at metalinjection.net. Link to it in the description of this video. Slipknot's latest album, We Are Not Your Kind, dropped back on August 9th, 2019, and uh, has many, many songs on there that I think are going to be in the live rotation for Slipknot for quite some time whenever they get back around to performing live. And as uh, Corey mentioned in our recent interview, which you can watch on this channel, uh, you know, Slipknot is weighing options. There's nothing guaranteed in the cards right now, but who knows? Maybe we'll see Slipknot playing a special throwback show or two uh, in a smaller venue until they're able to go back playing the giant venues that we're normally accustomed to seeing them in. Anyways, that's all for now. Thanks so much for joining us today at Rockfeed. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss it. And you can also check us out on your favorite podcast platforms as well. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you all very soon.